welcome back to my channel I when you're feeling down and your mind is under pressure don't you worry cause i know it will get better so speak life and it will turn out in your favor just wanna let you know that this will make you stronger if you no see the house yet, claim it If you no see the money yet, claim it If you no see the land yet, claim it If you no see the job yet, claim it If you no see promotion yet If you no see the business yet If you no see the care yet If you no see the hey. Hi guys! hi how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing okay i hope you guys are keeping safe and wearing your masks and sanitizing thank you guys for all of you who have subscribed to my channel i promise guys as soon as i get to a hundred um subscribers i'm taking it step by step as soon as i get to a hundred subscribers i promise i have something special for you guys so for the past week or probably a month or so now, I've been wanting to share with you guys um, my, um, my vision board. Now, I remember sharing with you guys about my goals jar. So in addition to my goals jar, I did a vision board last year um, in February when a friend of mine, a longtime friend of mine, her name is Twanza Trench, she came and she did a vision board workshop at the Courtney Auditorium and I went as an exhibitor and also as someone who wanted to learn how to do vision board. Um, I'm going to put her information down below so you guys can check her out. She has her own company. It's called, and it's a non-profit organization, I should say. Um, the name of it is Loves Inc. And um, I learned so much from that one vision board workshop, sh workshop session. And I know she came and she, do she did another one here in Jamaica um, because she resides overseas. Um, so I'm going to put her link down below so you guys can check her out. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to try and see if I can get you guys to see my vision board that I did. I'm gonna put it here in the background so you guys can see okay so so this was my vision board I did my vision board in um, 2019 as I said February 2019 and I in my vision board it was a it was a three to five years plan um um it was i actually split up my vision board in three different categories um one for my personal life one for my business life and one for my family life um so that i could focus on each of the areas on my vision board individually and possibly as a group deter depending on where they fell now um so, in saying that, I hope I'm not too dark. Yes, so I hope you guys are seeing me better now. Um, so as I said, I did my vision board in 2019, February 2019 to be exact. Um, as you can see, I'm going to try and zoom in so you guys can see it. So... As I said, I split up my vision board in three different categories, business, family, um, personal life. Um, so regarding my family life, um, I just focused on, I just tried to focus on areas that I know that I wanted to improve on which in my family life. I know, I knew I wanted to go on vacations that's for sure i knew i wanted to go on vacations i knew i wanted to have more family time because i was so busy i hardly 
own time for my family so i wanted to up my family time some more i also wanted to purchase a house um I wanted to pray as a family more. I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm just going to put up an image on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, yeah. I also wanted to put there to go on a cruise. So those are my wish list. So those were my wish list. Um, in my business life, I put a lot of things there pertaining to the businesses that I did. Um... I still do um, in life in life you know nothing goes as planned but you can try your best to work towards achieving what it is that you want to achieve now in my personal life I actually place a lot of emphasis on my personal life a lot of things that I did for the past year was more towards my family life and my personal life mind you i still did a couple of things pertaining to my business but it was more focused on my building myself and building my family life so um apart from purchasing our house um this year that was a part of my family life um part of my vision board um i spent a lot more time with my family um despite covid i did spend a lot i found that i spent a lot more time with my husband because i don't know covid is like a covid came as a blessing and a curse all in one so i mean i found that i spent a lot of time with my husband because i was home more and i found that i spent a lot more time with my son because i was home more so you know before covid you wake up in the morning drop your child at school you don't see them until you pick them up from school and then as you reach home there's no there's not much time for bonding because it's bedtime and you have to do the cycle all over again so covid came as a curse and a blessing i got to spend some more time with my family um in my personal life I had that I, the most important thing I had was that I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be happy because you know sometimes we, we we work so much we don't find time for ourselves and we just stressed out and tired and we're just genuinely not happy. So I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be happy. And I think I have done so. I mean I'm still stressed and I'm still tired but I'm happy. And I'll tell you why I'm happy. I also wanted to exercise more. No, guys. Don't hate me. I ain't, I'm not um, a vivid exercise. So. I don't work out a lot anymore. But when I do work out, I go hard. But for some reason, since COVID, this workout thing ain't working out at all. Um, and I guess you can see it in my face because I put on a lot of weight. Um, I wanted to pray more and I mean I have been praying a lot guys I have been praying a lot I think me and God have a special relationship so yeah I've been praying I've been praying I've been trusting I've been seeking and I've been finding right so I can give a tick right there um Another thing that I had on it was to choose choose your relationships. Now, that was very important to me at the time because um, there are a lot of people around you. Um, there are a lot of people that are around you that call themselves friends, but they're really not your friends. And I mean, once they see you, some of them are genuinely not really happy for you. And I wanted to say that to myself, to choose my relationship, not just friends, but any kind of relationship, work relationship, um, personal relationships, whatever kind of relationship, I wanted to choose them um, wisely. Um, uh, cut sugar calories in half. Hell no, that never happened. None at all. Nope. I did not cut any calories in any half. I mean, I probably multiplied them by two, but they weren't cut in half, none at all. Another sticker I had on it here was to 
start each day with a grateful heart now that one meant a lot to me guys that one meant a lot to me because starting your day with a grateful heart is something that is so important because we have to get up in the morning and be grateful that we have awoken and we are alive to see another day right not everybody had the opportunity to get up and see another day so the minute we wake up and we see that we're still alive we should give god thanks that we are alive and moving on from that give god thanks for the fact that he has blessed us to be able to see to feel to be able to walk and we are in our right minds because not not everybody can have the same testimony so i i i divulged in that a lot when i each and every day I made it my point of duty to be grateful, to be thankful, to be appreciative to God for everything that he has given me and done for me. I mean, not every day it is I'm happy to are in a place or a position where I'm grateful or not necessarily that. But not every day you want to be you, you you want to feel grateful or thankful. Sometimes you're just sad because this one thing probably didn't happen for you. And I mean I feel like that at times, but I still try and push to be grateful. And I say, you know what? I live by this thing to say everything happens for a reason. And if it happens to me, God wanted it to happen to me for a reason. Maybe it's because He wanted me to learn a lesson or it's because he just wanted to um give me something that i that i've been asking for whatever the reason is that he gave it to me or whatever the reason is why this thing is happening to me is it is for a reason um so another thing that i had on my vision board i'm not sure if you're seeing it here it is to upgrade my vehicle now i put an suv here because i've always wanted an suv and um just to say guys that this year has been such a wonderful year for me i know not many persons will be able to say that because some persons have lost their family members due to covid19 and i mean i'm just happy that i got the, the opportunity to get, to be able to say that god has blessed me in this time um, my condolences to all the persons that have lost their family members from this disease um, but for me God has been just a wonderful um, father to me condolences to all the persons who have lost their loved ones due to COVID-19 um, I just want to I just wanted to say that because even though I'm talking right now about me and um, how much God has blessed me I still feel it for those persons who have not and who are not finding 2020 as their year but back to my vision board so I put um, the SUV on it as I said because I've always wanted a SUV and I can say that God has blessed me enough so that I could be able to buy myself a brand new SUV um, and I just want to give him thanks for that just want to give him thanks for that um i also put on my vision board that i wanted to get promoted i don't know if you guys can see it it's right here to get promoted so i put on my vision board that i wanted to get promoted and again i can i can say that god has granted me that as well um, most of the things that I put on my vision board, I also put in my goals jar and I'm going to put the link down below to the video that I did on my goals jar. Now, I can say that God has blessed me and I was promoted um, to a secondary supervisor position. So, I was promoted last year, February, when I was, right before I got married, I was promoted so a first level supervisor post and um i i placed it back on my goals on my vision board because it was after that that i did this vision board thing and um yeah so i placed it on it and that i wanted to get promoted again and in last month september i got some september 1st actually i got promoted to a second level um supervisor position within my organization so i just want to give god thanks for that um also 
on my vision board i put um that i wanted to save five thousand each month now in jamaica we all know that majority of us don't save and saving is a good thing to do so i put it on my goals on my vision board that i wanted to save five thousand each month because at the time when i did this i really wasn't saving at all because i realized that we were living um paycheck to paycheck there wasn't really any savings going down and so um and because we had gotten married and we used up most of our savings we really didn't have anything to fall back and just in it just in case of an emergency so i wanted to put back our savings in place so i i placed it on it to say that i wanted to save five thousand each month mind you five thousand don't sound like much but at the time it was what i thought i could afford each month um and i think i'm saving a lot more than that now which is good um but yeah so i'm just basically showing you my vision board giving you an idea of how you can start your own vision board so you know lay out your life and work at each and everything that you put on it month by month day by day because some of these things take day you have to work on them every day well some of them it happens over a period of time um i also placed on it that i wanted to go to church more well covid kind of leaked that out um in 2019 i really didn't live up to my um my my aim to go to church more either um i guess i did but not as much as i would want to and i put some stickers on there to say get it done um i put some stars you know to make your vision on board um just reflect you i am a kind of person that i don't like um chaos i hate chaos i like to have a order to whatever it is that i'm doing and based on my vision board it, for me when i split up my, my my life in different areas and focus on things surrounding that main area it worked for me now as i say i don't like chaos and i don't like disorderly things so i try to order my things in a in a in a in a, in a way so like if i get up in the morning there's always a list of things that i know i have to get done for that day and if i don't get one of them done it carry over to the next day so anything that come to lick it up lick out lick me out of like that that set amount of tasks that i have to do it drives me nuts it drives me nuts because i always plan my day so i don't like surprises i don't really like the pop-ups you know? So I say this to say and I and I and I chose to show you guys my vision board because I want you guys to go out and I want you to create your own vision board. Now these things you can get them from magazines, you can get them from newspaper, anything that reflects what it is that you want. You can just cut out the little snippet and paste it on it. Just like the girl exercising here, I cut her out and I pasted on it because I said I wanted to work out more. Just like this here where I put the SUV, I cut it out and I put it on because I know that's what I wanted. You know? So you can just make your vision board affect you. And as I said, my vision board is a three to five years plan. And I'm just two years in my vision board now. Yeah, no, I'm not two years yet. I'm one year because I did this February 2019. I So I'm just one year in. One year and a couple months. I'm not do the math checking fast right now. But it's one year and a couple months and I have achieved quite a number of things from my vision board. I've purchased my house. I'm having more family time. We've been on vacation. Um, we pray as a family more. I'm, I'm genuinely happy with where my life is at the moment. I, I also I upgraded my vehicle um, I'm saving more I got promoted um, I've chosen my relationship wisely I start each day with a grateful heart I genuinely pray more and I'm happy for that because uh, if most persons who know me know that listen when when it comes to me and God we depend on a different kind of thing me and god have a different kind of relationship and i trust god so much god is such a huge part of my life me praying more was something that i really wanted to do because i found out that i i, I didn't pray as much as i would want to so praying more 
thank God for that. I'm praying more. So I'm happy for that. Relating to my business now. There are a lot of things that with this one that I haven't gotten to. And I mean, I deliberately did that because I wanted to focus more on building myself. So whatever it is that I set out to do regarding my business, um, I would go full force in it. So it's all about building me so that I can then go out and, you know, build up my business one at a time. You have to focus on them one at a time. And for me, myself was a priority priority before business because I mean, I have a nine to five and yeah, nine to five can't cut it. So I wanted, that is why I delved into business because, you know, not just for the 95, but I really enjoyed what I was doing at the time. So, but I'll talk about that another time. I'll talk about that another time. Yeah, we talk about one another time. But I'm just giving you an idea of how you can do your vision board. So this is my vision board. And, um... As I said, most of the things that I put on my vision board, I also place it in my goals jar. Um, so this here is my goals jar. Um, I'm going to put the link down below, as I said, to the video that I did and how I created my goals jar and what I did re regarding to my goals jar. Um, yeah, so thank you guys again for all the persons that have subscribed to my youtube channel and who have followed me on instagram and on facebook i really appreciate the support for those of you who have um motivated me or encouraged me to continue to do what i'm doing um it's just a blessing and you know i just wanted to shout you out um and let you guys know that i have I hear what you guys are saying I have seen the comments and I'm so grateful for all the encouragement for all the love um, and all the support and so remember guys to keep on keep on um, checking out my videos keep on checking up on my channel and following me on Instagram and Facebook um, remember guys remember to hit that subscribe button for those of you who are who have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button because um i'm always happy to have you so if you're not yet subs um following me on instagram please go on over to instagram and follow me on instagram remember to to click the subscribe button down below and click your notification bell so you know when I upload new content and oh don't forget to click that like button like up this video guys and share it with your friends um yeah please share it with your friends because it's it's a winning season for us all and I want not just for me to win but for everybody to win because I think there's a space here for everybody to be successful and to be winning so um remember share like leave a comment and subscribe please and remember to share it with your friends tell them to subscribe because i genuinely post good content on this page that was my aim to motivate and to inspire people and that is what i plan on doing with my youtube channel and yeah i do a little diy here and there but you know yeah so thank you guys bye When listen's over me